Sean Mosley's 89-year-old mother, Frances, has called this house near Lake Nokomis home for the past five decades. It's a mixed community, but she's, I think she's one of the uh, uh, longest residing residents here. A home where she's always felt protected, safe. That's until this March when Mosley says vandals smashed several windows in the home. Thankfully, they haven't tried to go inside. The same vandals Mosley says targeted his mother's home again in May, June, September, and October. <laughs> the seventh act of vandalism happening on Thanksgiving Day. November 26th, Thanksgiving morning, around 12.08, the person who has been uh, vandalizing my mom's house, they struck again. Mosley says he believes his mother's home is being targeted. He says it appears in surveillance video the same people are committing the crime. The way they walk, the way they hold themselves, the, the dress, the attire. Mosley says his mother keeps to herself and rarely goes outside. Thankfully, he says neighbors living nearby have pitched in to help with surveillance footage and donations to replace the broken windows. Each time we've like added active like security measures, so we've added cameras, floodlights, uh, shatter alarms to the windows. But each one of those things has not caused him to cause the person to pause. While he says the suspects usually wear ski masks and gloves to hide their identity, he's hoping they're caught soon so his 89 year old mother won't have to worry about someone vandalizing her home in the wee hours of the night. My mom is a grandmother. She's never really done anything to anyone. It's just totally uncalled for and unnecessary. I think the person needs help to do something like this on Thanksgiving and that, uh, you know, eventually they will get caught. In Minneapolis, Charmaine Nero, CARE 11 News. A spokesperson with the Minneapolis Police Department says they are investigating the vandalism. If you have any information about who might be responsible, you're asked to call police.